loves and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna make a quick five minute omelet using four tomatoes half a bell pepper three eggs three quarters of a butter stick turmeric tomato paste black pepper and sea salt let's get started I'm going to start with peeling the tomatoes. The tomato skin is a different texture from the tomato flesh and it will remain so in the dish once it's cooked. You'll get these tiny chunks of skin instead of a uniformly smooth mixture. Additionally, the tomato skin is rich in a kind of nutrient called flavanols which can create a bitter flavor. Cut up your tomatoes into about one to two inch pieces. Instead of peeling the raw tomatoes, you can also cook these tomatoes in water for about three to five minutes so that they'll peel very easily. Cut your bell pepper in half and remove the seeds. Once the seeds have been removed, Dice up your bell pepper. You want these pieces to be smaller than the tomato pieces because it cooks much slower. I'm going to add the butter to my non-stick frying pan. It'll take a few minutes for it to completely melt. In the meanwhile, I'm going to add my bell pepper and stir until the butter is completely melted and the bell pepper is slightly cooked. As I mentioned before, the bell pepper takes longer to cook, which is why we want it to be semi-cooked before adding the tomatoes. All right, once the tomatoes have been added, go ahead and add half a teaspoon of sea salt and let it cook for two to three minutes on medium heat. I find it best to crack the eggs into a small bowl, give it a mix, and then add them to my frying pan. Next, add half a tablespoon to a full tablespoon of tomato paste to your mixture. Make sure that you mix it around so that's equally distributed. All right, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of turmeric and a quarter teaspoon of black ground pepper to my mixture. The amount of seasoning needed for this dish is completely up to you as some people like the omelet to be more spicy. Next, add your eggs to the mixture and make sure it's equally distributed across your frying pan. And last but not least, let it cook for one to three minutes on low to medium heat. The omelet is ready and I have garnished it with some basil leaves. On the side, I have some sangek bread. Sangek bread is a Persian flatbread that is baked on pebbles, which gives it a unique texture. I personally like to serve this omelet with bread on the side, but it's up to you how you'd like to serve it. Check out the description down below for the items that I have used in this video. Please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family members i hope to see you in my next video take care